Okay, welcome to this series on PHP data objects or PDO. Um, in this series, we're basically going to look at the fundamentals of using PDO to connect to uh, whichever database you're using. So whether it be something like MySQL, SQLite, um, any database driver that's available in your system, and we'll talk about those a bit, bit later, um, will allow to, for example, connect retrieve results, insert results, um, take security into consideration as well. So basically the fundamentals of using PDO to work with whichever database you're using. Now I'm going to be using MySQL since it's probably the most popular, um, but I'll show you how to detect which drivers are available in your system and then you can go ahead and use it with your uh, database that you're using. So as you've probably already gathered, PHP data objects um, is uh, basically a access a database access layer um, that allows you to connect to and perform operations on multiple databases. So we're not just working with MySQL. So it's not just like the MySQL I extension in PHP. It's PHP data objects. So it's a generic way to work with database data. It's it's beneficial because you can basically implement it within your application and then switch over databases and not have to update any code um, or update very little code. You might need to update the way you connect initially using PDO because um, some um, database drivers work slightly differently. So SQLite uh, or SQLite works slightly differently. Um, but with MySQL and, and, and Microsoft Server, they're re relatively similar. Um, but there's not much difference in that. So what we're going to do first of all is actually look at how to find which drivers are available in your system. So I've already decided that I'm using uh, MySQL. So I have a uh, my PHP my admin a graphical user interface up here. I've created a database called App, and I've created a table within this called Guestbook. It's got four fields. One's the first one's ID, which is an auto increment primary. So this will auto increment for each record I create. So the first one will be one, then two, three, four, so on. Name, which is a variable character type of uh, with a 50 uh, limit. Message is just text. And posted is the time that this record was posted, which is just a date time type. So we'll be looking at this a bit later when we actually start to insert records. but. Basically, for now, I'm connecting to a MySQL database. So um, let's go ahead and look at how we find out whether the driver is actually available for this. Now, with PDO, it uh, works as an object in PHP. So you access it using the PDO object. And um, basically, we're going to use the scope resolution op operator here to access a specific method. And we're going to do this um, only sometimes, not when we're doing things like connecting, we'll create a new instance of it. But in this case, this is sort of a one-off method that's just a static method that we can use to check um, whether we have um, the available driver or not. And this is basically get available drivers. Um, as it stands, nothing's going to happen here, or we well, if we go into our browser and ref refresh, nothing happens. Um, but basically what we want to do is go ahead and print R on this because this will give us an array of drivers that are available. So print R is just going to show us that array here. So you can see that we've got MySQL and SQLite. Um, so we know that we have the driver available to use so we can use MySQL. So now that we know that we have the driver available we want to go ahead and actually connect to our database so let's go ahead and actually connect to make sure that we know that we can connect properly and then a bit later on we'll be doing some error handling so we'll see how we can actually handle these errors um, so the first step really is to create a database handler uh, you can call it whatever you want I usually just call it handler and then we want to create a new PDO um, object from the PDO class then for MySQL, the way that we pass in the data is a string, first of all, then a username, then a password. So obviously these are strings as well, but we pass a, a long string of lots of different properties in here. And then we have a username and a password. So for the first string or the first um, property of this, um, we need to define, first of all, what driver we want to use. And in this case, it's MySQL. 
and then you do a colon and we need to tell PDO what the host and the database name is. Now the host is just the um, server that you're running on which is almost always going to be 127.0.0.1 and for the database name that is going to be the database name that we've already created which is app uh, if you look back in php my admin you'll see that we've created this database here called app so now what we want to do is go ahead and provide login credentials for the mysql um, server in this case it's just root for the username and nothing for the password i'm just running this on my local machine there's no security really required here. Now that we've done this, let's go ahead and refresh the page just to make sure that everything is okay. It looks like there's no errors or no errors have been caused here. Let's go ahead and just make a slight change to this just to see if we actually get any errors back. And you see that we do. So we've got a fatal error here um, because we've provided an incorrect database name or, or the database name that doesn't exist. So you can see here that we've got an uncaught exception, which is quite important. We'll be looking at catching exceptions in just a moment. Um, and you see uh, it, here's the message that's been returned. So we've got unknown database app with three Ps and it gives you the rest of the sort of stack trace of where this occurred and things like that. So now that we've got this error, we want to know how we can actually go ahead and catch this. So the first thing that we probably want to do is go ahead and actually set a or the error mode, basically. So we want to set the error mode um, to for it to fire an exception. So we want to make sure that this is the case. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and we want to first of all put this in a try catch block. So let's come down here and create a try catch block. And um, in fact, let's just pop this code inside the try block for now. Um, okay, so what we want to do is, in a moment, what we're going to want to do is catch an, an exception. And what that will do is, that uncaught exception we saw earlier will be caught at this point. Um, nothing else beyond this will run, and it will um, basically come over to this catch block, and it will do whatever we want it to. So we'll we'll handle that in just a moment, and we'll fill in this this parameter in a minute. So what we want to do is we want to say handler and we want to use the set attribute method and this basically allows you to set um, different attributes on our, on our sort of PDO uh, instance and in this case it's going to be PDO attribute error mode or atra error mode and then we want to set that to a specific error mode and we want to set this to error mode exception which will allow us to uh, handle this exception so it's error mode underscore exception like that okay so now that that's happened uh, let's go ahead and just take a look at what happens here um, when we oh okay so we've got a syntax error no worries Ah, of course okay so we need to sort of fill this in anyway um, so we'll go ahead and fill this in now uh, this is a PDO exception we saw earlier when we got the error that we had returned a PDO exception but this time what we're doing is we're returning a PDO exception we're naming it E and then we can do something here with that exception so let's go ahead and refresh nothing happens so what's happened now is despite the fact that we've supplied an incorrect database name what we're doing is we're catching the exception and something is being output here so I'm just going to enter caught there just so we can sort of see that that exception is being caught um, we know that that's being caught already nevertheless we're catching the exception here and what we can do with this is we can then actually output either a very specific message or something generic we can kill the page if we wanted to let's say that this was at the very top of our code we might want to kill the page and provide an error message so sorry uh, database problem something like that I mean you you could be very generic uh, or general in the way that you handle it um, but if we wanted to say for debugging purposes to get an error back or log um, a specific message to a file or something, we're then going to want to say something like echo e, and from this we can use the get message property, and that will go ahead and get the actual specific message returned um, by PDO. And in this case, um, it's we've we've got this unknown database app. So um, that's just basically catching 
that specific error. Uh, if we go ahead and just um, echo down here the rest of our page, for example, and in here we kill the page, um, let's go ahead and take a look at what happens here. Um, so we obviously just kill the page and we just output this error message, um, which in a production environment wouldn't be recommended you to output a more friendly message or, or something. Let's go ahead and change the database name back to app with two Ps and take a look at what happens here and we get the rest of our page because no uh, exception has been caught here um, because the this this line of code has run correctly. So it, it doesn't matter. So um, everything's worked fine. Now later on, uh, if we were to go ahead and um, execute queries or anything like that, because we've set this specific um, error mode, um, queries later on will be able to catch in exactly the same way. Um, we probably won't be doing that because we just want to sort of demonstrate the functionality of being able to retrieve data, insert data and, and everything like that. Um, but, you know, useful to know that we can set the, the exception type, we can try and catch wherever we like here and uh, do the, exactly the same as here uh, to get the, the error returned by uh, MySQL of what's gone wrong. Okay, so that's um, what PDO is, how we connect to our database, and uh, how we catch errors.